I know uh, Copilot has been taking a lot of flag lately, um, and people are saying, well, you shouldn't use it, or it's bad, or whatever. Uh, when I see the work Microsoft is doing on Copilot, uh, especially on the data side, I think it's going to be a really useful helper, especially if you're not an expert on any of the um, uh, tools Copilot is integrated in. And I would like to expand a little bit on that one because there are people who, oh, who are uh, quite adamant Copilot on uh, SQL Server, for instance, it's it's rubbish and you shouldn't use it and you should be able to write your own queries. Mm -hmm. Those people are the ones who know a lot about writing queries, they have been doing it for 20, 30, 40 years, I don't know. Uh, they're experts. I think Copilot isn't meant for them, to be honest. It's meant for the people who are, uh, especially coworkers in my company, for instance, who are on the support department, who are the daily, uh, who are supporting customers daily, who are not specialists but more generalists in all mm -hmm. the tools we are uh, providing to our customers. They're not a specialist on SQL Server. They're not a specialist on Microsoft Fabric. They're not a specialist on uh, the 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 uh, ClickView or ClickSense stack we are uh, helping our customers with. They know a, li uh, uh, a little bit of everything. For them, Copilot can be a massive help to quickly uh, find out what's happening on a database or how to write a, a, a query to find out something on their database, for instance. It is such a powerful tool, powerful tool for them that I think Copilot can do a, a lot of good for people who are not the deep specialists, not the, not the MVPs, not the, the MCTs or the uh, SQL Server said people who know everything and know every uh, management uh, view or function or whatever in the database.